Hello and welcome to Quiz Class. My name's Ellis and I'll be your host for another part in our Old English Words Quiz. There's going to be Old English Words, you've got to tell us what they mean. There's 50 questions. Let's get started. Question one. What Old English term was used to describe the compulsive need to lie down? Clinomania, expurgia factor, or hugger mugger? The answer is clinomania. Two. What is the modern English word for casere? C A S E R E. Cheese, cupboards, or emperor? The answer is emperor. Question three. What does bedward mean? Heading off to bed, someone growing old or ill, or a lazy man? The answer is heading off to bed. I'm going bedward. Four. What old English word best describes life and vital parts of the body as well as elder or parent? Expurgia factor, elder, or snecklifter? The answer is elder. Five. What word below refers to cursing and abusive language? Crutal, grovel, or billingsgate? The answer is Billingsgate. Question six. What word below can be used to describe earth or soil? Fold, Fager, or Gerund? The answer is Fold. Seven. What do you call it when someone argues audibly about matters of little significance? Babble, Brabble, or brawl? The answer is brabble. Question 8. What is the modern word for ides? Ideas, woman, or theory, usually unproven? The answer is woman. Question 9. What word was historically used to express the action of feeling around for something you cannot see? Craddle, scuffle, or grubble? And the answer is grubble. Question 10. When people who spoke Old English used the word lift, what were they referring to? The wind or sky, the clouds and rain, or taking flight or lifting up? The answer is the wind or sky. Question 11. What phrase best depicts the state of feeling sick after consuming too much food or beverage? Parched, crepulous or fudged? The answer is crapulous. A great word. 12. What historic word was used to refer to paradise, specifically in the context of the Christian concept? Neox Noang, Langer or Vista? And the answer is Neox Noang. 13. What does the word elf lock mean? Tangled hair, a difficult puzzle or mystery, or something sealed up real good? The answer is tangled hair. Question 14. Which word below best describes something that wakes you up like a bird, alarm, or noise? Where? Frighten? Or expurgia factor? The answer is expurgia factor. Question 15. What would you describe if you used the word sped? Quickness, danger, or shock? The answer is quickness. Question 16. What would you say someone is doing if they are pretending to work while in reality doing nothing? Hugger mugger, fudgel, or jar goggle? They're all quite funny words, but the answer is fudgel. 17. What does the historic word sweosto mean? Sweater, sister, or someone that works with metal? 
The answer is sister. Question 18. What do you call someone who deliberately stares at someone eating, hoping to get some food? Bane, Starian or Groke? The answer is Groke. 19. How would you describe something that is Anfield or Anfeld? Simple, exposed or unfinished? The answer is simple. 20. Which word below describes secretive behaviour? Humdurgeon, Huggermugger or Mumpsimus? The answer is, finally, Huggermugger, after it being an answer option for so many questions. 21. What does the term humdurgeon mean? A severe illness, a light cough or flu, or an imaginary illness? Humdurgeon. The answer is an imaginary illness. 22. What historic word is used to describe something horrible or awful? Doll, atelic, or brecon? The answer is atelic. 23. What is the meaning of the word jargoggle? Making rude noises, confuse or jumble, or gargling after brushing teeth? The answer is confuse or jumble. Question 24. What word would you use to describe something fair or beautiful? Fager, bula, or plaisant? The answer is fager. 25. What did the word rice mean in historic tongue? Small edible starchy seeds, powerful, or ships carrying produce? The answer is powerful. Halfway through, here's 26. What is a lance prasado? Is it someone that conveniently forgets their wallet to avoid expenses? Sparkling wine or a medium prepared rump steak? A lance prasado is someone that conveniently forgets their wallet to avoid expenses. 27. What is the modern form of the word new? No, new or now? <clears throat> The answer is now. 28. Which word below was historically used to refer to the miracle of giving birth? A kennen, kreeft, or driogen? The answer is a kennen or a senen. 29. What does the old word mumpsimus mean? Refusal to let go of an incorrect view, lumps on your lower back, or a motherly figure? The answer is refusal to let go of an incorrect view. 30. What is the meaning of the word quag swag? Having a smooth attitude, shake something backwards and forwards, or someone whose sole purpose is to spread news? The answer is shake something backwards and forwards. 31. What did a, rag, a raw gabbit do every day? What did a raw gabbit do every day? Sell goods off their trailers, gossip, or made pies in their bakeries? And the answer is gossip. 32. What historic word is used as a substitute for to kill? Hint, its antonym is a kenon or a senon. Is it Bayran, Amiran, or a quellen? The answer is a quellen. 33. What does the word clippian mean? To call, to build, or to attach? The answer is to call. Question 34. What in the world is a snollygoster? Something fantastic, someone intelligent but without morals, or a dangerous person. A snollygoster is someone intelligent but without morals. 
Question 35. What does the old word Dryogen mean? Dragons, to suffer or to drag? The answer is to suffer. Question 36. When old English speaking people used the word snotter, what did they refer to? Someone foolish, usually a child or childish, a type of building material or wisdom? The answer is wisdom. Question 37. What is the old English word that expresses grief or mourning? Gnornian, weapon or hysteric? The answer is Gnornian. Question 38. What historical word was used to describe the act of lying awake and worrying before dawn? Utsia, Nactma, or Aglacia? I apologise profusely about the uh, pronunciation there, but the answer is Utsia, U-H-T-C-E-A-R-E. 39. What does the word willen mean? A strong will to do something, to want or to give away. What does the word willen mean? The answer is to want. Question 40. What does the word witten mean? To complain, to paint, or to know? Hint, this one is easier than you think. The answer is to know. And the hint refers to wit in witten. 41. What word is similar to raw gabbit, describing individuals who share opinions of which they know little? Derogatory, ultra crepidarian, or sildisk? And the answer is ultra crepidarian. 42. What does the word written mean? To know, to paint, or to write? The answer is to write. 43. What Old English word is chalk derived from? Cred, gesso, or kialk? And that's the answer, C-E-A-L-C. 44. The word astronomy was known by another name that meant starcraft. What was this name? Tolgolcraft? Liftcraft or Kludcraft? The answer is Tungolcraft. 45. What word was used to describe a little man who thinks highly of himself? Woofit, Churl or Cockalorum? The answer is Cockalorum. 46. What word best describes being in a fuzzy state due to drowsiness? Slapag, zwadder, or lassitudo? The answer is zwadder. 47. Before the word arithmetic, the term rimcraft was used. What does it mean? Mathcraft, numbercraft, or calculuscraft? The answer is number craft. 48. What are the woofits? Throwing a tantrum, flu or the common cold, or a hangover? The answer is a hangover. Question 49. What word was used to describe someone appearing comfortable while lying curled up tight? Hint, it was typically used to tease someone. Is it gruffling, huddle hug, or cutten, or cuffin? And the answer is gruffling. And question 50, what does the word humdinger mean? A person talking too much, something that aims to catch someone's eye, or extraordinary or remarkable? The answer is extraordinary or remarkable. It's a real humdinger. Bonus question. What is the definition of the noun snack lifter? Let us know the answer in the comments and let us know how many points you scored out of 50. Thanks a lot for playing this quiz with us today. It's been great. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications on all of our upcoming videos. 
In the meantime though, there are loads of quizzes that are already uploaded that you can try, so please do get involved with us here at Quiz Class. My name's Ellis and I've been your host today. We'll see you next time.